Is Yummy a GM? This is a question that I asked you guys a few days ago on my channel. Almost 1000 people voted on this question. And to my surprise, it seems like almost 70% of people think that Yummy is a GM. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you my opinion on this topic and I'll be explaining why I don't think Yummy is a GM. So let's get right into it. When it comes to GM players, there are two very common arguments that I hear a lot. The first one is that Mafia City has GM players so that they can force or encourage other players to spend more. They do this by making it more difficult for other players to win battles, forcing them to spend more. However, when it comes to Yummy, it's really difficult to see how Yummy forces anyone to fight battles. In fact, since Yummy joined City 39, in most of his battles he literally didn't even have to fight anyone, he just won those battles without fighting at all. This is because most cities knew that they did not stand a chance against City 39 which is massive, which is why they didn't even try. Now obviously there are a few exceptions to this like the recent interstate battle between 688 and 39 where 688 managed to defeat 39. However, generally speaking, City 39 is the city that wins most of its battles without any fights because it's far stronger than most other cities in the game. So now if we think that Yummy is a GM or an employee of Yoda Games, then we have to ask the question, why would they send Yummy to City 39 which was already extremely strong without him? It was obvious that sending him to 39 would make the city way stronger and would discourage other cities from challenging city 39. Instead, if he was a GM, they would send him to cities that were less stronger so that other cities would challenge city 39 and also Yummy would be able to challenge other cities from his own city as well, making Mafia City way more money. So that is why I think the first argument doesn't work that Yummy is a GM because Mafia City wants him to get other players to spend even more money. The second argument that I hear a lot is who in their right mind would spend so much money on a mobile game? Now if I had to guess, I would guess that Yummy has spent anywhere between 3 to 6 million dollars in total on his account. And he's been playing for about 3-4 to four years, so he probably spends about 1-2 to two million per year. Now this amount obviously sounds crazy to most people because most people won't even be able to make this much money in their entire lifetimes. However, you have to keep in mind that there are a lot of people in this world that are making 10-20 to 20 million or even more every single year. For someone making that much, they'd only be spending 10% of their income on the game, which isn't too crazy when you look at it from that perspective. I also did a poll on my channel over two years ago, where I asked you guys, how much of your income do you spend on Mafia City? About 12% of the people that voted said they spend about 10-30% to of their income, while 13% said they spend over 50% of their income. So in my opinion, it's not that crazy to imagine someone making millions of dollars every single year spending 1 or 2 million on Mafia City. And because of these reasons, I do not think that Yummy is a GM. Let me know your thoughts about this topic in the comments down below, whether you agree or disagree. If you haven't liked the video yet, then be sure to scroll down right now and leave it a like. Thank you. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.